Ever since I joined the school eight years ago, I've been noticing that many of our children are extraordinarily talented, especially in terms of art, painting, music, dramatic abilities. And one of my regrets was that we've always taken this tremendous talent for granted in the sense that we haven't really done anything to uh, showcase it or portray it to the other world, to the outside world. So a few months back when my colleague Spondon Ganguly, who along with other colleagues look after the International School Award of the British Council, uh, they came up with the idea that uh, why don't we do an art exhibition on a large scale and uh, include that in one of the several uh, projects that we are working on for our current uh, ISA accreditation. I jumped at the idea because uh, I thought here would be an opportunity to uh, tell the whole world that MCKV, MCKV produces fantastic painters. One doubt was that, you know, how do we actually link art with the international school project because conventionally and traditionally all projects that we've designed and implemented for the ISA uh, have had to do with social issues or, uh, you know, comparative analysis of uh, the economy of uh, countries or uh, history or collaborative projects, uh, exploring um, social habits literature, various other things, but strictly speaking, per se, uh, exhibition of uh, art or sculpture or paintings. Uh, I, I had my doubts how we were going to uh, accommodate that in, the, in, in our projects. So then I was explained that, and, and I thought it was a unique idea, uh, that uh, the seven projects that are being currently developed for the uh, International School Award accreditation they deal with various topics like, uh, you know, mathematics in ancient India, uh, whether it is, uh, you know, cyber safety or whether it's religious festivals. And I was told, and pretty convincingly, that all these ideas and concepts can be admirably uh, portrayed and expressed through uh, painting and sculpture. Then the challenge was to uh, uh, pick out the painters uh, who would be given the responsibility of uh, preparing the, uh, the the paintings and the sculpture pieces uh, for this exhibition. So that was also done. I mean, the, our art teachers, uh, Prakash sir and Bipul sir, they, they also played uh, a pivotal role in this. Their contribution was signal. And uh, Spondon and his team were also extremely involved in the whole thing and it was fascinating the way the, the entire thing unfolded and evolved. 
But uh, what again struck me was that the the thirty odd children who were selected to to draw to do the paintings for the exhibition, how uh, focused and uh, immersed they were in their uh, in their artistic pursuits, because uh, these children, I mean, children don't necessarily have to be uh, academically brilliant but uh, we've uh, we've seen that whether the children are academically brilliant or academic high achievers or low achievers or whatever but the absorption and the focus and the concentration with which they worked was amazing and this was a, a fantastic learning curve for us because we realized that uh, uh, when children are interested in something they they give their own i mean they 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 invest body soul mind time everything in it i mean you then there's there's really no holding back me that very often why children do not uh, perform optimally in their academic uh, studies is because possibly uh, they're bored or possibly we haven't we haven't really been able to uh, light up their imagination or possibly uh, they they simply they they're not attracted by it but uh, give them something that they're interested in and see what wonders they can do
One thing I know is that I learned a tremendous amount from this experience just by watching the children work. I learned so much. It taught me so much about their psychology, how their mind works. And in one expression, I would say that uh, it was an exhilarating experience. And I, I thank all my colleagues for working so hard and doing something so novel. I've already been very, very proud of MCKV and all my colleagues and management. As a matter of fact, it's a singular honor to be able to work in this school. And now I've realized that, you know, it's to, uh, I'm, I'm not only privileged, but I'm singularly blessed to, to have been involved in this project and to be a part of this school. So I thank everybody for uh, thinking of this, for involving me in it. And I'd like to wish everybody all the best in their uh, pursuits and uh, maybe hope that many more uh, such artistic pursuits uh, will be thought of and will be implemented. And uh, such projects are going to take MCKV from uh, strength to strength and will ensure that the MCKV flag is always kept flying high. Thank you and God bless you.